Let's take a moment and smile. We need to modify our outlook and our behavior towards certain issues. Like for example, you cannot associate cleanness with someone being rich or poor, and you cannot associate class with race or gender. But positively, people recently are more aware of this manner, and they have the right behavior towards it. Today, we're going to talk about this exclusive topic. Some people might think that this attitude might underestimate someone with a high job title or underestimate his class, but that idea is totally wrong. A person always aspires and upgrades himself with the positive features in life because that is the best way to create a place in other people's hearts and people will start respecting you for who you are. While other people, they have negative features or negative traits, they will never gain the respect that they want. And as you know, this feature or this behavior that we're going to talk about today, even though of its simplicity and modesty and all the good things about it, other people might think that it's a sense of weakness. Imagine if you got irritated by someone and you just started screaming at him in public and he replies to you with a simple smile. How will you react? I think I would smile back. I'd probably shout again. Very soft-spoken person, but if a per if I shouted at someone and someone smiled at me, I would smile because I would feel um, silly shouting. And then, so if someone smiled, when you shout at somebody, and at the same time he he smile at you, that means he's a good person, and uh, he took your uh, anger on him and gave you back a big smile, so you have to smile and you have to say thanks also. Well, my reaction should be the same as his reaction. I should calm down, down as well and uh, rethink about what I said and how I acted. Shouting and screaming and raising your voice never really solves any problem. I should slow down. I should, in theory, actually, to slow down and just uh, react uh, in a different way. Probably trying to realize that well, the way I reacted the first time is actually wrong. It's, it's not easy, obviously, because the first reaction is, uh, is a reflex reaction which, of anger. But obviously, I should actually be tr uh, try and, uh, and sort uh, and just calm down. The fact states that the happiest people in the world are the people that smile. This statement needs no justification or proof. Also, a scientific fact states that smiling enhances someone's memory, enhances their concentration abilities, and so they become more imaginative and innovative in a very unique way of thinking. People who smile are more loved and accepted by people and usually they are effective members of their social relationships or friendships. However, grumpy people on the other hand have a narrower social circle because society usually doesn't accept them. Imagine that no one smiles in society, that you are always surrounded by bad-tempered people, no one smiles at work, at hospitals, restaurants or the street. Basically, you are going to eat, work and get served at restaurants and at the hospitals by ill-tempered people. How do you accept to live that way? In hospitals, how are you going to get medical attention that way? How will you resort for help this way? And in the end, how will you get a friend in a place like this? Oh man, my mood is so bad today. Smile, you'll feel better, I'm sure. You tell me to smile? I told you I'm in a bad mood. Well, of course smile. Because sometimes when you face life situations, it's better to face them with a smile than a frown. Because a frown couldn't just affect you negatively, but affects the people around you. However, when you apply to them with a smile, and not just a smile, a smile and dealing with the issue, and solving that issue, it's better than to face them with just a frown. Because in the end, you shouldn't translate your miseries to the people around you. Smiling while in grief is said to be the behavior of legends. There's a saying, an old saying, that states that when a person smiles even though he has thousands of tears in his eyes, that that is the best level of greatness. And it's also said, that the greatest level of patience and tolerance within a person is when he smiles just so he can make the people around him comfortable and happy. Have you ever been in a situation where you were shoved around or treated very badly 
and in front of people in public. If that situation ever happened to you, how would you reply to that certain individual that did that to you? It was recited about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that a man once came to him and it was between the Prophet's friends and between the people, so it was in public. And this man came and pulled and dragged Prophet Muhammad from his thobe and was a very inappropriate, was clearly inappropriate. Now Prophet Muhammad could have easily taken great measures with this man if he was angry, but our Prophet just gave him a smile. Instead of being angry, instead of taking actions against him, our Prophet's great morals and ethics made him just look at him and smile. In many sayings by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he told us to spread smiling and love in society. In one saying he says, never ignore doing good even if it was a simple smile. In another, he said, smiling to your fellow brother is a deed. So you see, our Prophet Muhammad and our Islam has always encouraged to spread love and eliminating hatred and envy. As you can see, smiling reflects happiness. Because even Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he was ill and in much pain, he still smiled because he was very proud of the Muslims when he saw them standing in line and praying just like the way he taught them to. Even though he was in much pain, he kept on smiling. Let's say for example, if we had two cities living next to each other, it had similar people or it has similar people, but they differ in a certain feature. One city is called the city of happiness and the other city is called the city of grief. So the people living in the city of happiness are people that always smile and are always happy. Well, the people living in the city of grief are the people that are usually sad and grumpy. So, let's say we switched between them. What do you think will happen? Well, obviously, if you take a person that is happy and you're going to put them in a place that's surrounded by people that are sad and always having this negative feeling towards one another, this person can never survive. However, take a person from the city of grief and you put him in a place that is all surrounded by positive feelings between people. People are always happy and smiling with each other. He will survive and he will become one of them. So as you can see people that a person needs to go to that place that he feels happy whenever he feels that he is sad. For example if you feel sad don't go to the place that makes you even more sad Go to a place that you find happiness. A childhood place, perhaps. Your grandmother's house. I don't know. Find a place that can create for you a positive feature and a place that will make you smile. If we always cared to smile for the people around us, for our families, friends, people at work, our colleagues, even our bosses, or the people in the street, everyone, if we kept doing that, won't we make a major difference in society? If you want to know that answer, it's true or not, just do it and you'll realize the change. I'm not implying that we should stand aside and give up our rights. No, what I'm saying is we should try to spread love in society through a smile because it would give people more cooperation and spread a positive image of our community. I only wish that we could gain and retain a unique society through joy and laughter.